Hello, my name is Anna Hamilton and welcome to I God Today. In today's Gospel from Luke, Jesus is tired of hearing excuses, so he doesn't hold back this time. He says, Woe to the Pharisees, woe to the scholars, woe to you. He is warning us to be on guard. Do not fall into the traps that distract and keep us from holiness. Do not be selfish or vain. Rather, be humble of heart and be a light to others who are suffering in darkness. In Paul's letter to the Galatians, Paul reminds us, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Earthly ways do not always guide you to the kingdom of heaven. We must follow the spirit of truth in order to receive the fruits of heaven, which are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. It's in these that there is a passion to live like Christ. If you wish to be great in God's eyes, let these be your guidelines for life. Remember Acts 18 says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. This is grace. This is your gift from heaven. Allow yourself to be patient. Graciously watch these fruits ripen. When they are ready, they will refresh you and you and others may wish to share these fruits together so that the kingdom of heaven may welcome you with great joy. Let us pray this beautiful prayer by St. Augustine. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love all that is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Amen.